Sources of Error Oftentimes, lab procedures yield errors that could have been avoided. This type of error can be reduced in the future iterations of the same experiment by doing what? By improving your procedure. This form of measurement error can be the result of a choice of measurement tool and how that tool is used in the procedure. Let's look at an example of this type of error. One source of error is due to the limits of your measurement tools. The lowest increment measured by the tool is the limit of its precision. For example, examine the spring scale over here. This shows that the smallest division to be 5 grams. Okay, you can see 0 here, here's 25. You have 5 increments in between, each one is at 5 grams. You can approximate the next decimal with an uncertainty in measurement equal to half of the smallest division, or 2.5 grams. You can then find the force in newtons by multiplying the mass by 9.8 meters per second squared. Some scales may already be calibrated in newtons. They've already done the multiplication for you.